Uh, in comparison, what was just read was for life and limerick, these are rather gloomy. With the passing of time, you no longer know rain, feel the coldness of snow, cannot see the overgrown grass high above you. Mahogany boxed beneath the earth where darkness under kisses your body all over and forever. Perhaps you finally found that wondrous place you talked about where you always believed you'd go. What more is there to say now except that all of us left behind here, sweating in hot, wet summers, shivering in freezing winter as you once did, still manage to leave flowers for you on Christmas, Easter, at that place where summer, winter no longer want to know you anymore. We even bring up your name quite often at our occasional gatherings, if we remember to. <laughs> and this is a quasi-religious poem. Religious musings or what? Looking up at the sky, beyond this city's sparkling lights, out there where stars should be, the megazillions not in sight, doing what stars have to do, far out in the unending far that knows what infinity is, as I do not. I think on our supposed to be creator, often called our God. The he, she, the, the, the what of it that has put me here on earth these many years among this perpetual cacophony of voices making pronouncements into the void too vast to give back any answers. So they say to me, believe, please have faith as we do. Yes, there's security in that. One can sleep at night, find easy peace each day, a joy in knowing all's for the best. But why this I in me that eyes me with insidious questions? Why do I not know? What means this life that keeps me in its thrall? I watch parishioners in their pews on Sunday or daily mass, beautiful hymns sung, recited psalms, Kyrie eleison to moving music by Bach. How lucky they are with certainties my hope can never fathom. But how can I kneel as they kneel in prayer when after everything has been uttered and done all I've ever had known how to do is wonder. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Beautiful.